Hello Matthew Williams here with a quick video, well it ain't gonna be quick, anyway whatever, if it's short it's quick, it's long, it's fat, it's thick, it's hard, soft, um, runny and, and congealed all at the same time. That's what I provide here with my stupid fucking videos. Anyway, um, I've spent loads of time on this barge in stuff and you know, some people are like, oh, why do you bother? Just let them get on with it. Let them get on with it. Let them do their business. It's their business. They paid their money for it, so they should let them do it. Yeah, but it's not, is it? It's not. It's not. It's not. There are so many things wrong with our society, wrong with things that are going on. There's so many things that are happening that people just go, oh, let somebody else deal with it. Let the police deal with it. Let the council deal with it. Let the, uh, let the, let the border officials deal with it. Let the, let the EU deal with it. Uh, and it's, it's just nobody ever wants to get their fucking hands dirty. Yeah? Nobody ever wants to take the bull by the horns. Well, you know, I don't normally, yeah, there's a lot of things I just go, ah, oh, fuck it, you know, bollocks, but Brexit was one, yeah, I said, no, nope, I've had a fucking guts full of seeing people just flooding into the UK and screwing things up, yeah, and, you know, just being a fucking drain on a society that was created by British people, yeah, and then, of course, you get called racist then, it's like, oh, but they've got to talk right, you know, by all these fucking libtards, yeah, these fucking liberal fucking retards, yeah, with an IQ of a fucking, you know, child that goes, well, they've got a right to, to be in our country, and, and, and they've got a right to cross our borders and take all our money and jobs, they have a right, they have a right, they, have, they don't have any fucking right, it's, it's complete nonsense, all this bullshit about bloody crossing borders and fucking you know no tax tax lanes and you know everything's been fucking dismantled for a globalist agenda okay and as we've seen yeah you take down the borders then everyone who lives in the fucking middle east starts migrating across and then comes to live in the uk yeah and then what does that make for the people who live in the uk yeah, everyone who's come from fucking Eastern Europe, Turkey, fucking Russia, everywhere wants to live in the UK and wants to live in these richest parts of, you know, uh, Europe. So, um, then, you know, who, why, why? It makes, it makes the people who live here not want to fucking do it. But anyway, I've been accused of being racist again yet today, which is why I'm on my fucking high horse. Um, and it really comes down to this. You know, th there are people who want to do jobs and there are people who will do those jobs for minimum wage or less if they come from foreign countries, you know, and they don't have any worker rights in this country. Maybe they're Ill illegal immigrants. You know, there are some out there, you know. It's not racist to say that we have a lot of this stuff going on. Yeah. Um, so there are these people who don't have any right to be in the EU coming and taking jobs. And then you've got the people from the EU who come across and then fucking do that too. And Britain's just said, we've had enough, which is why we've got Brexit coming. Yeah. We've had, we've had a fucking enough of it. Yeah. It's just enough is enough. And I don't think it's racist to say, sorry you know, I don't like this pounding my arse is taking anymore, yeah, and that's where we're at, so anyway, at the barge today, um, I met this chap, he was very nice, um, he, he, he had a foreign accent, didn't, didn't, didn't seem to, you know, understand me perfectly, um, but I, I was chatting to him quite nicely, turns out that he is the manager of the barge, he is the bar manager of the barge inn, and he must be about 18 years of age, 20 years of age, maybe. So maybe. I could be wrong. I don't know. 20 years of age. And he is running the pub. Wow. And he comes from Romania. Wow. He comes from Romania. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it, isn't it amazing that you, you would expect possibly, you know, somewhere like the barge to be run by a English person with business skills... Uh, which relate to the business economy of the UK 
maybe, maybe could speak the language well, you know, and maybe was a local person, or at least from, you know, maybe within 50 miles or, or something of that nature, but no, 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 no. If you thought that, you'd be stupid, because this guy was from Romania. Now, am I going to get called racist for saying this, but uh, there seems to be a slight kind of leaning in this country to using cheap labour, yeah, that comes from countries <laughs> like Romania and Poland and places where people will come over and they're prepared to work for minimum wage or even less than minimum wage and is that a bit fucked up when the law says minimum wage is this yeah that there are people who would be prepared to employ people for less than minimum wage now I'm not saying that's happening in this case but of course you can see how people might jump to that conclusion which of course you could you'll say well that's racist you see to jump to that conclusion is racist but is it kind of understandable that somebody like me would just ask the question well is this guy getting paid proper wages because he's very young and you know he's the bar, bar manager but he's from Romania and why why doesn't this like picture sort of immediately add up well because the rest of the people working in the pub are also foreign as well you know it's like we've got Pietro Italian Barbara Tomasciusci whatever her name is yeah Italian Pietro's son obviously Italian they all work in the pub then you've got two chefs from Naples that work in the pub that he's imported so that's a total of five people and a Romanian bar manager that's six people six people working in the pub who don't hold British passports who are not British citizens and somehow we're supposed to accept in Pietro's planning application when he makes the wonderful statement that he is contributing to the local community don't make me fucking laugh right if he was contributing to the local community, he would be using local people to work in the pub. And I do not think it is racist to point out the big fucking elephant in the room, which is that they're all foreign, yeah? And one of the poor bastards happens to be from Romania. And I'm just wondering, in this twisted little fucking world, that um, this guy may be being abused in not being paid minimum wage. And I would like to find out why somebody who doesn't have perfect language skills is being employed as the bar manager when I'm sure there would have been plenty of locals who would have been quite happy to take up that position but it seems that the manager Pietro the o the owner sorry the owner Pietro seems to have had problems with employing people because um, he's assaulted some of them yeah Pietro has physically assaulted some members of his staff who all left who were all women, by the way. So Pietro physically assaulted some of his staff, verbally assaulting, like right in your face, shouting in your face, like that, yeah? Fucking screaming and pushing people, and fucking, that's how he treats his staff, yeah? Now, these women didn't seem to want to put up with that, so they all left, yeah? There was one bar manager who was a local girl, but she wasn't going to take that shit, yeah? She wasn't going to take being abused like that, yeah? And there was a girl who worked in the kitchen, and she wasn't going to take being abused like that, yeah? And there was somebody else who was working there, so all three of them left. And they said, that guy Pietro is a fucking fascist. 
which is somebody might say that's a racist statement but it's the fucking truth yeah okay you know fascism came out of fucking Italy yeah look your history books up yeah you know fucking Mr Mussolini yeah but we all know what fascism also translates to commercialism yeah commercialism is fascism isn't it fascism is commercialism yeah anybody who knows your history should know these things but there you go I'm not allowed to say that because apparently it's fucking racist well maybe the girls who are working there as the manager the the, the kitchen staff and and the bar staff maybe those three who left who call him a fascist maybe they're racist maybe they're fucking right maybe they're right yeah the guy is a fascist yeah he's a bit of a psychopath and he's not easy to work for so how come then right bear in mind that they all left how come that this Romanian guy is there does this mean that he just will take a good old beating yeah or a pushing up against the wall and a fucking shouting in his face ah, I'm Pietro fuck you ah. and is that Romanian guy prepared to put up with that is 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 that why he's still there or is it because he's doing it for fucking minimum wage or less than uh, questions 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 it's not fucking racist it's just common sense someone needs to ask the question yeah and will that guy be there for very long who knows and if he leaves will we ever find out the truth because he's Romanian so off he goes so we never find out the truth Pietro made a mistake by employing locals because employers employing locals means they won't put up with your fucking bullshit and they all talk to each other in the locality about what you're like and what sort of person you're like and that gets around but you employ some Romanian guy and when you fuck him about and fuck him off your little dirty secrets go into the fucking horizon into the sunset with that Romanian guy who'll never be heard of again so isn't it funny the types of people that are being employed in that place right now because if the chefs don't meet the criteria they go back to Italy and if the Romanian doesn't meet the criteria he could fuck off back to wherever the fuck he came from or wherever he's about to go to to get abused by somebody else for less than fucking minimum wage or whatever the deal is but hey it's just speculation but I don't like seeing people being treated like that even though I think the job should go to local people I don't think I don't think that's the bigger point the bigger picture is here people who would use cheap labor like that using Romanians on farms to pick fucking potatoes because they don't want to pay local people proper wages yeah and we hear about it all the time slave gangs slave gangs of people who will do these cheap jobs living on farms and only getting enough fucking money you know to buy a bit of food and they get their accommodation which is usually fucking horrendous and there's actually in the United Kingdom right now they actually have to they've had to bring in basically a slavery agency right I can't remember what they're called now but they're actually anti-slavery agencies in the UK right now because unscrupulous employers rich cunts with loads of fucking money who want to maximize their profits are quite happy to use these people as slaves okay and they're basically fucking slave wage slaves because they can't they can't break out of this cycle of they haven't got any money they can't go back home they haven't got enough money to go home they're trapped they get their food they get their fucking they've got their job and they've got you know a roof over their head and that's all they've got yeah and there are some places employing people like that in the UK now and guess where most of them come from Poland Romania Turkey Russia da 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 so is it racist for me to say I hope this guy's not being abused thank you very much good night